Okay, so for Caesar cipher, the easiest way to do it is to, you see there are constraints. You see in here, you have constraints. So K cannot be more than 100. All right. That means that um, K can never be more than 100, right? So you can never, you will never be able to rotate more than 100, right? So this is probably for arrays uh, because alphabet letters are 25, right? So you will never be able, you will never have to do a rotation more than 125, right? So the safest way is I did 100, but I mean, now I'm thinking about it, you can probably do 10. It will still work, right? So basically what you do is you create a array out of every single, uh, you create a string out of every single alphabet character then you uh, to uppercase it so they every single one of them is big then we make 10 versions of it so you can imagine this is a humongous array with them um like side by side do you know what i mean that's the fastest way to do it you see so all of them are side by side right then naturally we do map that's what that's what one i like to do right so if it's not a alphabetic character, return it. If it's um, if it's found in the um, small array, basically return the index of the big array plus the k, right? And alt else, uh, if it's not small, it has to be large because we already filtered out uh, none letters, right? And then return index. Of large plus k right so and that's it that's the solution and then of course you can uh, kind of um, um, join it right you can do join in here you can just return this but I like to do in separate operations so it's it takes a lot less horse power out of your brain so you can you don't get fatigued um, as much right because like I like to break down. I like to have very long solutions, um, where every operation is a single-purpose operation. It's called a single-purpose principle. I think it's called in programming, right? This is like there's two reasons why I like it. Because one is your brain doesn't get drained too much. Because I mean, if you if you write like program that has like two lines in it, or like one liner, you know, some uh, hackathon like enthusiasts they do that. Your brain just by looking at it becomes it just drains it. And the second readability, of course, is like a big deal. Now let's see. I know it worked with hundred. Let's see if it's going to work with ten. It should. I think it should. Yeah, I think it's going to work with 10, honestly. Yeah, 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 it works with 10. You see, so in theory, in theory, I think, I think it might even work with 5. Because, I mean, think about it this way. If 100, probably 6, you can even do 6, probably. I, I, I'm most likely with 5, it's going to work as well. Because you will have max 125, right? Yeah, 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 it will. Let me see. But you get the idea, right? You get the idea. I mean, it's, it's very straightforward. Let's see if it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you can do with 5 as well. I, on the safe side, go with 6. But you can do with 5 as well. So just FYI. I did it with 100. <laughs> just to be honest. On the safe side. All right? So that's the solution. I mean, it's, it's very, very straightforward. Make a humongous array. And then look at the index. And that's it. As opposed to trying to cut it. Uh, if the... Um, if it's longer than the, because it can get messy, right? It can get messy. I tried to do it that way. It was slow. It was just like, I couldn't understand why. Some, sometimes they want me to plus one to length. Sometimes they don't want me to minus one out of K. I don't know. It's just, it was just messy. I just decided to do it this way. All right. Take care.